hello lovelies how are you doing welcome back to my channel on today's video we'll be making this beautiful ankara dress with puff sleeve and buttons and also with front slits shout out to all our subscribers thank you for subscribing thank you for always being there for us and if you haven't subscribed please like and subscribe to our channel come along let's jump right to it i'll be using four yards of ankara fabric I will be using my lining piece and also wording for it. Okay, so I'm going to keep the lining and the wording with the Ankara fabric and we'll be working on the pattern. We are going to draft the front and the back pattern for the upper part of the dress. And I've marked the chest line, the bust point, the under bust and the waistline. For detailed tutorial, I'm going to post link on the description below in order for you to be able to follow up if you haven't seen my previous tutorials and if you are not advanced yet to understand this so if you're a beginner i'll drop links on the description for you so when i was done i marked the arm o so you have to just mark the place your bust measurement and connect the front arm o and also i marked the shoulder line but we've not done the sleeve yet okay so what you are going to do from the waist you divide your nipple to nipple by four and you mark so i went ahead i mark my nipple to nipple on my waist and my under bust and also on my bust point line after marking connect it with a straight line then you are going to start inserting the dart on the center front area from the waist side you mark half an inch then on the sides front you mark 1.5 inch okay so that's what you do for both the waist and the under bust i went ahead and mark it for mine so do the same thing for yours after marking it you connect it with a straight ruler after connecting it on the bust point line you come down by one inch and use your curve ruler to connect it on both sides so you connect the 1.5 to that one inch that you came down with and you connect the half an inch to that one inch that you came down with we are done with the waist that we'll go over to the arm o to get our arm o that so you divide whatever you have for your arm o by two then you mark it so i did the same thing for my what i had was 10 inches i went ahead and i marked five inches after dividing it by two so when you divide 10 by two you are five inches so mark it after marking it you go over to that bust point line and come up by one inch then you connect it to that one inch that you come up with you connect it to the five inch that you mark after connecting it i use my free hand to connect the one inch that we came up with to the bust points in order to avoid sharp edges so do the same thing for yours you can use your ruler or you can use your free hand to do to just give it a curve when you are done connecting it you go over to that five inch that you mark on the arm o and you mark one inch on both sides you can use zero point seven five you can use one inch it all depends on how busty you are so connect it to the one inch that you came up with do the same thing on both sides then we are done with the pattern for the front part of the dress so what you do is to insert your body measurement on the arm or area you come up by one inch that's the total measurement of the dart so whatever you have that is what you are going to come up with so you come up on that first part of the dart by one inch and connect it all the way down to your bust measurement okay so whatever you have you connect it and that is going to be our new arm o for the front so use your curve ruler to connect yours just exactly what i'm doing for mine add your sewing allowance when you are done so i use one and a half inch for my sewing allowance do the same thing for yours after inserting your bust measurement, go over to the waist and mark your waist. So you mark the total measurement of your waist after dividing it by four. Mine was eight inches. Then I added the dart, which was two inches plus 1.5 inch for sewing allowance. 
After doing that, connect the lines, your waist to your bust area. So connect it with your ruler and cut it out. Or insert your neck. So it all depends on how you want to do You can cut it out before you insert your neck or you can insert your neck before you cut it out. I'll be making a boat neck for this dress. So I came down by 3 inches on the center front. Then on the shoulder area, I marked 5 inches. So you are going to just draw it like a boss. After drawing it like a boss, you use your curve ruler to just give it a bit of curve and cut it out. After cutting it out, we have our front pattern. So I added uh, half an inch that I'm going to be adding while cutting out to the pattern. So let's go over to the back. So for the back, I've already drafted the basic bodice pattern and I marked the that on the waist so, and also inserted the zipper area, the zip allowance. Okay, so on the chest line you come down by one inch and i did the same thing for the neck i inserted the neck um measurements this is basically the measurement for the back so you insert your body measurement after after you've gotten your back pattern because the back is a bit faster eh, faster than the front measurement you just basic body's pattern and add that if you want to add a uh, side, that's the side uh, that on the arm or that. You can do the same thing we did for the front. Just that you are not going to mark half an inch on both sides on the arm or that. You are just going to come up by half an inch and connect it to get your new that. But I'm not using that. I'm just cutting out two patterns for the back. So I'm going to insert my measurement and connect it so do the same thing for yours it's just basically what you did for the basic bodies pattern it's just like your basic bodies pattern actually you can just do basic bodies for your back and you are good to go so on the zip area on the waist part of the zip i came in by one inch then i connected it to the neckline so do the same thing for yours after doing that cut it out and you've gotten your back pattern Gotten our pattern for the upper part of the dress. Let's go over to the skirt. Fold your fabric into two to cut out the skirt. So I'll be cutting out the front before I cut out the back. Then use the biggest part of your body as the measurement. So divide it by four. Whatever you have, add two inch or three inches to it. So I'm going to mark the hip depth. I used 9 inches, then I added half an inch for the waist area to join it. So, after marking the hip depth, I used my ruler to draw a straight line across. Then, after drawing the straight line across, I went ahead and I marked the round above knee measurement. So, my shoulder to my round above knee is 19 inches. I marked the 19 inches, used the ruler to to draw a straight line across. Then you go to the gown length. I use the total length of the dress because I want to fold it in by two inch or one inch, okay? So when you are done with that part, you go to the waist. On the waist, you mark your nipple to nipple measurement for the dart, so that is four inches. Then you mark your waist measurement. Because we are opening up the front, that nipple to nipple area you mark four and a half inches then on the waist you mark your eight inches so that is basically eight and a half inches then you go over and you mark your sewing allowance add one and a half inch to it after doing that you go over to the hip depth on the hip depth you mark your hip measurement divide your hip measurement by four and whatever you have inserted after inserting it you add 1.5 sewing allowance then connect it to your waist 
After connecting that, you go over to your radar above knee. My radar above knee was 36 inches divided by 4 gives me 9 inches. So I went ahead and I marked 9 inches. Then I added 1.5 for sewing allowance. So you do the same thing for your smart. Whatever you have and add 1.5 for sewing allowance and connect it. Connect it to your hip measurement. Okay, your hip. So after connecting it to the hip, we are going to go to the M line and insert our measurement. So you can use whatever you have on the round above knee. Insert it under your M line and connect it with a straight line. For the length of the bottom part, I use the 45 inches. I ended up folding it, okay? So you can decide which and which length you want. If your length is 43, you can add one inch and use 44 inch, okay? So after I got in my length, I went ahead and I inserted what was my on my round above knee and I connected it with a straight roller. Do the same thing for yours. Cut it out. After cutting it out, use the front piece to cut at the back piece. Before using the front piece to cut at the back piece, you have to open up the front piece because of the dart area. So that was basically why I added half an inch to all my measurements. So whenever you are cutting on the side, you add half an inch so that you'll be able to open it up and it will not be too tight. For you okay so do the same thing for yours for the back piece you'll be adding your zipper allowance okay so after adding your zipper allowance on the waist area you are going to come in by one inch and connect it all the way down to the hip area or the m line so when you mark one inch you are just going to connect it to the hip area on the hip area, I used 1.5, so you connect it to the 1.5. After connecting it, cut it out. So we've gotten our front and back pattern for the bottom part of our dress. So you use your pattern paper to cut out the upper part of the dress and we'll be using the wording for the front padding and the paper stay for all the dress so i'll be adding paper stay to both the back and the front of the dress so cut it out iron paper stay on both the front and the back and we'll start stitching after ironing the stay to it you cut out the padding so i went ahead and i cut out the padding for both the front okay for both areas of the front so do the same thing for yours and iron it out. After ironing the wording to our front area and the paper stay to the back, we are going to start stitching. So you, for the back, you join the dart of the back, while for the front, you join the sides together. So you'll be joining the two sides of the front to the central front. So stitch it up. For the bottom part of the dress, you attach the lining piece to the main fabric. So you have to cut out the lining piece. Make sure it's shorter than the main fabric, okay? So you do the same thing for yours. I'm going to do mine and I'm going to show you what to do next. I'm done stitching it. And this is what I have. After stitching them, I went ahead and ironed them and marked my front piece and my back piece in order to differentiate them. Okay, so this is it. This is the ironing and everything that I was talking about. The joining on the bottom and whatever I have. Can you see it? So I went and I ironed it up. So you are going to do the same thing for yours. After joining it, you go over to the upper part of the skirt area, then join the dart. So this is the front piece. After joining the dart, you are going to join the two front pieces together. So I'll be placing the front piece now, and I'll be marking where I want my slit to start.
start from so do the same thing for your mark where you want your your slit to start then insert it on the front area and stitch both sides together so after you finish it you place it to front side facing front side and you stitch it and stop at where your slit will start okay so you join the darts and stitch the front join the front with your slit height in mind i'm going to stitch mine and show you how it looks <laughs> This is the upper part and I've stitched it up and I've ironed it the front area. So you are going to join the shoulder to shoulder together. So join the shoulder to shoulder of the back piece to the front piece. So do the same thing for yours and stitch it. Do the same thing for the lining piece. After joining the shoulder to shoulder, you take the lining piece and use it to turn out the neckline. Then after turning out the neckline, you join the lining piece to the main fabric and turn it out, okay? So you do the same thing for yours. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you how it looks and I'm going to iron it and show you how it looks when I'm done stitching. This is it after stitching. So what I did next was I attached the upper piece to the bottom piece before joining the side and attaching the sleeve so do, we are going to pin the front to the front and the back the two back piece to the back okay so you join it so that when you join the sides together all the lines are going to align okay so do the same thing for yours i've joined the upper part to the bottom part then what you are going to do next is to join the side before joining the side, you have to attach your sleeve, okay? So cut out your desired sleeve and attach it to the choice. I use puff sleeve for mine. I'm going to drop a video description on how to achieve puff sleeve for your dress. So I use puff sleeve for mine. So do the same thing for your upper part and attach it. So I went ahead and also attached the zipper to the dress so i attach the zipper first before stitching the sides up so attach your zipper then after attaching the zipper you stitch up the sides with the sleeve take it to your sewing machine and stitch i went ahead and i cut out my sleeve this is the puff sleeve that i'll be using on the m area attach the elastic that you have for the m area then attach this sleeve to your dress. So I'm going to do that and show you how it looks. This is it. You can attach the button to the dress now, or you have to wait to do it. But this is the back area and I stitch it and seal up the back. Okay, so this is the back and I ironed it up. So after doing that, you join the sides together. So from the sleeve, you stitch it all the way down to the M line. I'm going to do mine and show you how it looks when I'm done stitching. This is it after stitching and I've ironed it up. This is what we have for our dress. So these are the buttons that I'll be using for the design. You take your buttons and you mark it out. Okay, so we are going to insert the buttons. We have to mark where we want the buttons to be. So take your ruler and mark the midpoint. Okay, so you find the midpoint of the upper part and mark it all the way down to the bottom part, that waist area, and start inserting your buttons. So for the buttons, I wanted to pin them so that I will show you But I'm just going to place them because I could not pin them. So you mark it. You can use 4 inch, you can use 5 inch to get that gap, okay? So, and if you have more buttons, you just use 2 inch for it. 
that is what i would advise you can use more buttons actually you can make it less i use 12 pieces of buttons for my dress so i marked everything and mark it all the way down to where my slit stop that was where my button stop so insert yours and stitch your buttons with your needle and thread This is it after stitching. I've inserted the buttons. So what you have to do is just iron up your dress. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye guys. God bless you and have a great, great day ahead.